I'm Anil Kumar. Let us review what we have learned about prime and composite numbers. Here are eight questions for you. You can pause the video, answer these questions, and then look into my suggestions. Question number one. Can there be a number which is neither prime nor composite? Explain. Question number two. Can an even number be a prime number? Question number three. Is product of 11 and 7 a prime number? Question number four. List all factors of 29. Question five. Write composite numbers between 50 and 70 with factors as 2, 3 and 5. Question six. Is it possible to have two consecutive whole numbers as prime numbers? Question 7. Is 203 a prime number? Question 8. A number will always be a factor of sum of its three products. True or false? Okay, so I hope you got most of the answers. Let's answer them one by one. Can there be a number which is neither prime nor composite? Prime numbers have how many factors? Two. And composite numbers have more than two. We are left with number one, which has only one factor. So the answer is yes. An example is one. Since it has only one factor which is number one itself okay question two can an even number be a prime number yes the number is two right so so we have yes for the first one yes for the second one and that's the only even number which can be prime number question three is product of 11 and 7 a prime number the answer is no now this product will have what factors 1 11 7 and 77 right so these are four factors so it cannot be prime number list all factors of 29 the factors are 1 and 29 since 29 is a prime number question 5 write composite numbers between 50 and 70 with factors 2 3 and 5 so if these three are factors then the number could be 2 times 3 times 5 which is how much 2 times 3 is 6 6 times 5 is 30 now if i'm looking for a number between 50 and 70 it could be 60 right so so the number between will be 60 question 6 is it possible to have two consecutive whole numbers as prime numbers Yes, it is. So, what is the example? Number 2 and 3. Right? Now, that is the answer. 2 is the only even number. So, we have consecutive numbers as prime numbers. Is 203 a prime number? The answer is no. You can try dividing 203 by 7. Right? So, when you divide by 7, you get what? 7 times 2 as 14 and then 63 is 7 times 9. So it has two other factors 7 and 29 apart from 1 and 203. Now whenever you are given such numbers try numbers like 7, 19, 29 these prime numbers. Question 8 a number will always be a factor of some of its three products. The answer is yes. Can you explain why? Can you explain why? Let's take an example. Let us say we have a number three. Then three products could be three, six and nine. Now if you add these, you see three is common factor. So you could actually say this is three times 1 plus 2 plus 3 so so 3 is a factor do you see that correct so if you take a number n 
then when we say sum of its three products, when we say sum of its three products, the number could be 2n plus 3n. So whenever you add, you'll get something n. So that means n is a factor. Do you see that? So that is how you could explain it. So I hope the concepts are clear. Now let's move on and try to understand prime factorization. I hope you find this journey interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. Share and subscribe my videos if you like. Thank you and all the best.